So, bon dia, gumpers. Here I am in a village near Figaro dos Vinhas, Paul Rees speaking, rural properties. Uh, a small village, five houses. This is the view from what will be a kitchen window. Let us take you inside, dear viewer. Two, this is the state we find it in. New roof, luckily. We bought this on April the 1st for renovation and turning into a three bed family home. There's some land, room for a pool. So just a quick, quick run through down the other stairs. This is the kind of building that we do at Rural Properties. We buy old things, sort out the paperwork and uh, reformulate into beautiful country homes. So I'm just going to show you this house from a little bit up the old Calzada path. There we are. Left hand side is 17th century, right hand side 18th century. Beautiful village. A few other houses dotted around, that's it. A kilometre and a half to town. So village number two for your delight. I wanted to show you the smaller houses that Rural Properties gets to play with. This one was in a right old state. It was two levels, it's now got a stairway between the two. And this is, great vines by the way. This is in a village called Val de Rio. It's at the end of a road stops and then it's tracks down to the Rio, which is the Rio Zezere, Zezere. So that's our pleasant country view. And the village is about 35 houses, midday population, dozen people, weekends it fills up. Ideal Elogimento locale. So let's have a quick look inside. It's very simple, very neat and clean. We've got a lounge, pellet burner, new kitchen, spiral staircase between two levels. Then there's a deck out here, so you can sit and have your morning coffee, looking at the view, and then simply new bathroom, shower, normal stuff and two bedrooms side by side with the original floors, nice and shiny. Et voila, this is Val de Rio. This one's for sale at an entirely reasonable price, not that this is an advert, but it shows that we do smaller houses as well as the larger historic properties, one of which we will see soon. Right, this is a little two bedroom house that we're just finishing. 10 minutes from Castanera de Pera, 15 to Pedroga Grand. Let's have a quick whiz through. There's guys, guys everywhere, which is a good thing. So we have a new terrace. Upstairs is full of stuff, but basically one bedroom. Two bedrooms, Casa de Banho, stairs down, fireplace, lounge, kitchen, stairs, walls. Say hi, guys. That's it, simple. This was bought by a Dutch guy for a logimento locale and partial use by himself and is the bridge down there below that is the river beach and finally here we are in the old square Pedro Galpacano that's the Pellerino we bought a house here that had been empty for 22 years that was lived in by the area nurse, nurse Adelina, hence Casa Adelina. 
the nice font there that we pressure washed for free. There's the house. I'm very proud of this house. It was in a right old state. It's right on the main old square. And it's now a work of great beauty. Voila. There's even a religious thing. Station of the Cross number two, which is Christ picking up the cross, apparently. The date on that is 1865, but that's when, the, when this was installed. The house is about 50 years earlier than that. And it's quite big. There's a roof terrace and pleasant views to the distant hills from up top. It's a lovely part of the town, old Pedroga Pequeno, the little sister to Pedroga Grand, that's just over the river, past the famous bathing area on the reservoir at Cabril. So there we are, that's the final one, dear viewer.